and it gives me particularly great pleasure to make an announcement that we know the fans have been waiting for, and that is to let the world know that a key part of Super Nintendo World will be the Mario Kart experience. Super Nintendo World is opening mid-2020 at Universal Studios Japan, just about a half year from now, and we still haven't gotten any new information about the new land's flagship attraction since the groundbreaking ceremony a few years back. The Mario Kart ride will be the only attraction that will be found at every version of Super Nintendo World, including Japan, Hollywood, Orlando, and Singapore. Let's go over the rumored ride layout and scene descriptions for this new state-of-the-art attraction. Plus, we'll discuss some of the rumored technology behind the Mario Kart ride. And together, we have been working to make Mario Kart experience an attraction that is unlike any the world has ever seen. The most immersive and cutting edge technological attraction that we could possibly imagine. And we know the fans and our guests are going to be thrilled to experience it. Opening by the summer of 2020 in Japan and already under construction in Hollywood, the Mario Kart ride is being touted as the most immersive and cutting edge technological attraction Universal has ever created. This ride will feature two tracks that run side by side, so it'll feel like you're racing the other car. It is said to be a bus bar dark ride, meaning the ride vehicle cars will get their power from the track itself. A bus bar system is one of the most popular types of indoor ride systems. Classic Fantasyland style dark rides like Mr. Toad's Wild Ride utilize variations of a bus bar system. The version for Mario Kart may be a bit more robust, but it is still expected to utilize a track and not be a trackless ride system. Riders will pass through several different settings throughout the ride, all based on race tracks from the video game series, including popular or recurring tracks like Rainbow Road. Along the way, it is rumored that Nintendo characters in other cars will drive up beside you. The ride will focus heavily on real sets and physical characters to tell the story, utilizing screen type elements only for backgrounds, effects, or transitional tunnels between the scenes. The exterior facade for the Mario Kart ride will be themed like Bowser's Castle. The entrance to the ride will be located on the second level of the two-level land. A gift shop will be located to the right of the main entrance, themed like a mechanic shop. In the concept art, Mario is carrying a tire on the sign. This gift shop will likely also be the exit for the attraction. Once you enter the queue, you will be inside a large castle hall with a stairwell that branches into a few directions. There will be the main standby line, an express line, and a single rider line. All of the queue is located on the second level of the building, leaving the entire lower level for the ride. As we walk through the queue, we'll pass through different areas of Bowser's castle, including a portrait gallery featuring Bowser's extended family, a library, courtyard, and more. Later in the queue, we will encounter a training area with trophy displays. This colorful area will likely be set apart from the darker Bowser castle zones, and will give us a chance to learn the various skills we will need for the ride, including how to put on and use the rumored augmented reality goggles. As we near the end of the queue, we start to make our way downstairs, into the dungeon of Bowser's Castle. The load area is split into two sides. The setup here will be similar to coming down the stairs at Men in Black Alien Attack at Universal Studios Florida. Each of the two sides has space for four carts to be parked and ready to load and each car holds four passengers, two in the front and two in the back. Once we're loaded into our cart, it's time to start the race. Let's go through a scene-by-scene -scene breakdown of what we think might be on the ride. And while this is based on early rumors, there may be spoilers for the attraction. Scene 1, The Dungeon Pit. After loading into our cart, we turn away from load and then straighten out, right next to our competitor on the other track. Scene 2, the starting line. Now we are side by side with the other car on the opposite track. Ahead of us is a drawbridge to leave the castle grounds. 
The lights light up, the buzzer sounds, and we are off. Scene three, the canyon. As we leave the castle grounds, we see turrets and mechanical gears while we make our way out towards a pipe entry. Scene four, piranha plant pipeline. We enter the pipe into an area filled with piranha plants and green pipes. Some of the pipes have water pouring out of them, like in a sewer. We exit the scene through another pipe tunnel. Scene five, dolphin shoals. We have found our way underwater with coral and undersea life all around us. Scene six, the whirlpool. Looks like we're caught in a whirlpool that takes us out of the water. Scene seven, twisted mansion. The whirlpool spit us out into a strange mansion filled with chandeliers, spooky antiques, and some shady characters. Scene eight, cloud top. A transitional tunnel sweeps us up into the sky where we travel through the clouds and pass by rotating propellers. Scene nine, volcano. Just as we reach the ground, we're surrounded by a series of volcanoes and we're heading towards a massive one up ahead. Scene 10, lava. Projection mapped lava can be seen flowing down the giant volcano as we enter below it, passing through the liquid hot magma inside. Scene 11, Rainbow Road. It appears that the volcano has spit us out into a weird place in outer space. We see an archway up ahead to enter the Rainbow Road, which twists and turns and swirls in every direction all around us. Scene 12, the finish line. We're almost to the end. Scene 13, victory lane. Compare your scores against the other car to see who came in first. One of the most talked about technologies that may be present on the Mario Kart ride is augmented reality, or AR for short. It is rumored that AR goggles will be worn by riders to add additional elements on top of what you're really seeing. AR could be used to add item blocks onto the track that you could collect and then use against the car beside you. Special items from the games like red shells, banana peels, and more could be utilized to help stall the other riders and ensure your victory. In addition to appearing on the ride itself, Augmented reality technology is also expected to show up in other ways around the Super Nintendo World Land. Special AR viewer binoculars will be set up in different areas. These will allow visitors to look closer at some of the real places around the land, but with additional characters and elements overlaid on top of reality. Other patented technologies are expected to be used on the Mario Kart ride to create the effect of traveling faster than you really are. To accomplish this, moving backgrounds and LED tunnels may be utilized between some of the scenes. With the backgrounds moving quickly past you, along with some well-placed fans, it could feel like you're going faster. Another way to make it appear that your car is moving faster than it actually is, is by having moving objects fly overhead or beside you. With objects coming towards you quickly, it could appear that you're moving much faster than you are especially if coupled with the moving backgrounds. Several scenes may also feature projection mapping effects to create additional movement or background scenery. A patent for drifting may be incorporated into the ride as well, for when the vehicle makes tight turns, or maybe when the cart wipes out from being hit by a shell or running over a banana peel. The ride vehicle may also spin in a couple sections of the ride, most notably the whirlpool scene and the transition from the clouds to the volcano. The Mario Kart ride should be a fun, good old-fashioned dark ride, but with a technological twist. Of course, some of these details are based on early information and rumors, and things could always change by the time the ride opens. It's expected to open in Japan next year, Hollywood the following year, and in Orlando at Universal's Epic Universe by 2023. Plans were just recently filed for the land in Orlando, so construction should start soon on the new park. Hopefully, we'll get more official details on Super Nintendo World as we get closer to the grand opening in Japan. What do you think of the Mario Kart ride? Are there any other tracks or settings you would have liked to have seen incorporated in the ride? Let me know in the comments, and subscribe for more Super Nintendo World and Epic Universe news coming soon. And don't miss our previous video about the Yoshi Family Ride also coming to the land. 
Thanks for watching. See you next time.